This is Toby Salgado, and I'm here to help answer a question we all have. How do I build my business faster, better, and easier? I interview the top real estate minds in the country, dig into their businesses and lives so you can learn what's working and avoid the mistakes these people made along the way. Now, if you want to learn more of the strategies and tips found in this interview and in my archives, you want to do two things, two things. First, go to our site, superagentslive.com. Subscribe to the show, and that way you won't miss any of my future conversations with these top producers. And second, while you're there, download my free ebook titled How to Sell. That's going to get you on our list, and you can be the first to hear about anything new we're doing. And look, and, and, and if you're so inclined, give us a rating and review. That really helps a show. I used to ask for those, and I don't anymore, so I, I would really appreciate that. Now, today's sponsor uh, it is, uh, and look, we rely on sponsors. So Discover Publications is our sponsor. They've been taking care of us, keeping the lights on in the studio. Now, here's what these guys do. For slightly more than the cost of a stamp, Discover Publications will create a fully customized newspaper to send out to your sphere of influence, send out to your farm, send out to your friends, whoever, so you can always stay po top of mind with your prospects. And it's, this is a very unique type of marketing. Now, what a lot of people are doing is they, they sell ads in the newspaper to their vendors, the insurance guy, the mortgage guy, the con contractor and zero base their cost. That means your vendors cover most of the paper cost, uh, cost of the paper, the whole strategy. Now, listen, it's easier than you think. Go out and do it. Tr check out discoverpubs.com. Let me know what you think. Now, I, th this is the second episode that I want to tell you uh, we've made some headway on the new member site. Now, uh, it's it's up on the site, it's pretty much up. Um, now, we're going to have three levels. We're going to have a silver, a gold, a platinum. Silver's free. You get in there, and then you're going to have access to you know, stuff like uh, you know, there's scripts and tracking sheets and all that. Uh, the gold level is going to cost. It's going to be really, really super affordable. Uh, but you know, there, you're gonna, you know, I have business plan templates and budgeting templates and all that stuff where, look, man, if I can save you two days creating a giant Excel spreadsheet, it's so worth uh, the cost. Uh, and then the last one, the platinum one, is the thing that you guys have been asking for, and that is the group. The group. This is where you get to interact with one another uh, in the audience, uh, ask questions, share what's working, what's not. Um, I'm in there. Um, and, and guess what? My buddy... Bob Corcoran, which Bob charges five thousand dollars a month, and you know what you get for five grand with Bob? You get two phone calls a month with him. Now that might seem like a lot, and it is, but the dude is worth it. I mean, you know, he he takes people from a hundred million to two hundred million. Here's what he told me last night he would do. He said to me, he said, "Listen, Toby. Now look, he loves what we're doing out here. <clears throat> okay." Now, he told me, he said, listen, one, because we, we were talking about the member site, member site. He said, listen, what I will do is once a quarter, and he said, he said, really, it's up to me. He said, listen, Toby, you can do it once a quarter, once a month. But, you know, he said, I will get on a live Google Hangout and, you know, with you guys and, you know, answer questions, kind of do a group coaching session, uh, which really, man, I, I was like, are you joking me? I mean, that's super valuable. Um, so, uh, the platinum level will get that. So I would say go sign up and and uh, and we're going to start rolling out stuff. Now, if you are listening to this episode uh, the day of release, uh, and that is Friday, October 11th, I believe. Uh, yep. Yeah, no, nope, Friday, October the 10th. I'm going to be in South Carolina at uh, uh, Charleston, South Carolina at the Boomtown Conference. Uh, you know, me hanging out. I've had a lot of Boomtown people uh, on the show. So I'm going to go and see people in real life and, you know, shake their hands and see who wants to get on the radio. Um, so it's going to be pretty fun. Um, that's it. Now, listen, today's, today's super agent, my radio voice, today's super agent is Haas Pratt. Um, all right. Uh, let me know if you like it. Let's get to the show. Welcome to Super Agents Live. This is the one place where you can come and hear the most successful people in real estate. You'll hear how these super agents built their businesses, how they stay productive, and how they stay motivated. Who am I? My name's Toby Salgado, and I made my first million in real estate. Yeah. And I'm your host for the next 30 minutes while we talk to yet another amazing real estate yeah. entrepreneur. Stay tuned. Let's go. Yeah. Today on the show, we have a guy that's been recommended to me many times. I finally went out and got him on the show. 
Today, we're going to talk about different lead generation channels you should have in your business, including expireds and Fizbos, and we're even going to spend some time on mindset. I'm delighted to welcome Mr. Haas Pratt. Hey, Haas, thanks for taking the time out today. Hey, Toby, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. So listen, Haas, um, you know, I was unfamiliar with you until a mutual friend of ours uh, uh, introduced us, but let me take a minute, tell the audience a little bit about yourself as well as your business. Yeah, well, uh, my name is Haas Pratt. I'm uh, the founder of Success Systems and CEO of Fuel Lead Systems, and uh, we have a real estate coaching and training company that helps real estate agents differentiate themselves. We, uh, we, we, we equip them with tools that reposition them in the marketplace, allowing them to dramatically improve their business. Um, and, you know, we, I've been uh, in the business for over 12 years now. Um, you know, I've done over 1,000 live seminars in over 45 states, over 1,000 online events, and over 4,000 one-on-one coaching hours of helping real estate agents go from where they are right now to where they want to go and helping them get clear on that vision of what they need to do, what they need to change, and the tools that will help them get to that point to be able to have freedom, freedom from you know, time, freedom from uh, money, uh, and really be able to live that lifestyle that they've always you know, wanted to live. The, the lifestyle that, you know, that they were seeking when they got into real estate, where, you know, you find when you get into real estate, it seems like what lifestyle we work all the time, right? And most agents do. And 95% of the transactions are done by 5% of the agents. And what we do is we help people become a top 5%er, and the 5%ers become the 1%ers. And so we help them along that path, and we give them the tools uh, that will allow them to get there. Interesting. So, I mean, let's talk about that for a second because, you know, look, here's the deal. Um, you can look at almost any brokerage, and and you have three distinct groups. You have the top 20% who are, who are crushing it. You have the middle 60% who are, these guys are, you know, they're holding their own. And you have the bottom 20% that are just literally taking up space. And if you look at, you know, what differentiates the top 20 from the bottom 20 is that 80%, 90% of the top 20 will have a coach. 0% of the bottom 20 have a coach. Why is that, Haas? Everybody knows that, you know, professional athletes, actors, everybody has a coach. What, what is this thing that, that stops people from going out and asking for help or investing in themselves? I mean, you know, 4,000 coaching calls. I'm, I'm curious to get your viewpoint on that. You know what? And that's a great question. You know, I, sometimes I ask myself, you know, why am I in the business I'm in? And what led me here? You know, I, and I guess it takes me back to, you know, when I was in my teens and I was, you know, in a, in a working on a, a dairy farm in, in Missouri and I, and I decided I want to do that. And I started a lawn service and we were mowing a hundred lawns a week. And, um, and we just really grew. And I decided not to go to college because I was successful at the time. I mean, it's hard to convince any, you know, teenager making six figures to go to college and, uh, but, you know, Toby, fortunately for me, I had a mentor at the time that took me under his wing and he taught me, he coached me, he poured himself into me, he helped me develop, you know, at least understand the skills I need to develop. He helped me think a lot differently. Um, and he instilled in me from that early age to always seek a coach. And so even when I got into real estate, you know, uh, that was one of the first things I did was to get a coach. Having a mentor and a coach is absolutely paramount. To getting to the next level because at every level you're at, there's always somebody that's at the next level that will help you get to that next level. And so, you know, there's a guy named Jim Rohn that I followed, you know, for, still do listen to him consistently all the time. And he instilled a principle that the most successful people follow. And I, and I believe it's true that if you take 10% of the money you make and you invest that into one of the most valuable assets you have, which is yourself, and you develop that asset. You 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 know you you put you know you go to seminars, you go to um, events, you hire a coach. You're part of a mastermind. You're you know you're you're learning based, and you want to grow. Um, you know it, it's real hard to not be successful when you're surrounded by successful people like that. And so one thing that I've learned is I guess that people think you know why they don't hire a coach is they you know, there's more fear, right? They think that they can't afford the coach, and they they ask themselves the wrong question. It's not a matter of you know, can I afford this coach? I mean, you know, most, let's say it's 12000 to $20,000 a year. I mean, that's a lot of money for a coach, and they think, I can't afford it. Well, a better question to ask yourself is, what will happen if I don't afford it? What will happen if I don't take action? Um, and 
for me, that wake up call came my first year in real estate. I was, you know, I spent six, the first six months in real estate. I'm circling the drain. I was, I was the typical average broke agent. You know, I was doing the wrong things. I wasn't, I didn't, you know, I wasn't focused on prospecting, wasn't focused on lead generation like I needed to be. And I hired a coach to help me understand how powerful um, those things are and help me understand marketing and, and how important marketing is to a successful real estate business. And that coach just, as I say, I like to say, he turned the lights on, right? He turned the lights on uh, consciously for me on what I needed to do. And, you know, I closed my first year. I, I did, you know, nearly $8 million in volume, all of which was the second part of my first year because I chose to take action. I chose to change. But the reality is, is I had so much fear of if I didn't take action, where I would be. I mean, you know, no educa- no college education. I wasn't go get a, going to go get a job. I had no choice. And I burnt the boats. Um, and to me, that was the decision that, you know, shaped my destiny because that's what I do today even. I help other people you know, overcome those same challenges and, you know, ensure success for their own career. Got it. No, and look, so you started that whole sort of the monologue with Jim Rohn. Now, I love, I love Jim Rohn. There's a, there's a quote that I think is great, and you, you were dancing around it with your answer there. You know, and the quote is this. I'm sure you're, you know it, but, you know, you were the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you, you know, like you said earlier, right, go out, go, go get into a uh, mastermind group, right, go to conferences, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever, you know, you become the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. L- let me ask you this. Um, when you first got on this call, you said we help reposition people. For you, Haas, can, I mean, there's a, a crazy question, but what is coaching? Is it accountability? Is it repositioning? Is it the, you know, what is it to you? What is coaching? How can you break that down? Yeah, and, and I'm going to add to that. So what the coaching is, but the quote that, um, and Jim Rohn has another quote, that is success is not something you pursue, it's something you attract by the person you become. Right, yeah. And that mindset and that, that quote, that single quote changed the course of my life. And, and you know, we have uh, an event coming up next month, and I have Hal Elrod, who wrote a book called The Miracle Morning Speaking. You know, he's speaking at the event. Yeah, Hal, well, by the um, way, and, sorry, not to, yeah, Hal's been on the show, man. Um, he's done, Yeah, great, man, yeah. Hal's amazing. He he's got, yeah, he's so cool, his energy, his uh, message, you know, the guy is, uh, you, you know, he's, he, he's an awesome friend, and he's going to be at our event, and he's, uh, you know, he, he brings tons of value to the community. And that's the one quote that he said changed his life as well, because, a lot of people, you know, in, in real estate, they, they look for shiny objects or tools to, that will help them get to that next level. In reality, it, it, it's you that's going to get to the next level. You become that, you know, that marketer of the year, or you become that $20 million producer. It's not, it doesn't happen by accident. Like this, Toby, if you, and I ask people this, if, if, if you could become twice as good at converting, converting prospects over the phone, what would happen to your income? It would go up. Well, yeah, if you could become twice as good at positioning yourself than you are right now, what would happen to your income? Or you finally put systems in place that, you know, feel less chaotic and, you know, you're and more certain what would happen. So, you know, I want to add that because that's really important. And it's a big part of what we do um, on the coaching side is we help them attract success, not, not giving them the squirrels to go pursue success. And so positioning is huge. And I believe that you know, my goal is to make it virtually impossible for um, people to compete with our clients in the marketplace, but more importantly, make it virtually impossible for prospects to tell our, pro- our clients no, um, because we've done such a great job of positioning them in the eyes of the consumer. And I think that in real estate right now, we're at, a, you know, we're at, um, you know, we're at different times. I mean, that's, real estate's changing at warp speed. You know, you just had um, – Truly, you get acquired by Zillow for $3.5 billion. And to put that in context, you could add um, the value of Keller Williams and the value of Remax, add them together, times it times two, and it's still not $3.5 billion, right? So there's no doubt that we're going through um, a lot of changes. And I believe that through those changes and what we have to do to remain a 5% or remain that the undisputed number one agent best choice for marketing and selling property is all about positioning and how we do that. How do you position that agent in a way that gets them results and makes it, you know, the appointments that they go on more like cutting through warm butter than, you know, just getting beat up like a punching bag, right? So 
there's a lot of different strategies and methods that we use to do that, and it's a big reason why we're able to, you know, to guarantee the results we get for our clients. I mean, we, we, are, we have a single goal is to double their business in 12 months. A big part is, is giving them the tools that will allow them to do that. Okay. So I, 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 yeah, I, I want you to unpack that a little bit more, but um, again, you've been through 4,000 coaching calls. Is there like a common theme that you see over and over again? I mean, look, here's what I see, right? Everybody knows they need to get, you're talking about um, a minute ago when you were explaining that you were talking about becoming more effective, right? Doubling your, your um, uh, production, doubling your closing rate, whatever. And people are just having a hard time with going, Hey, Toby, how do I get leads, right? How do I even get in the door? It, it, it's it, it, again, I don't want to lead you. What is the most common theme that you see when people come to you? Where are they struggling? Is it, is it, is it the, you know, that last mile or is it the, the first, you know, 10 yeah, yards? And, and I, exactly. So this is, I mean, and this is exactly where people struggle and, you know, and, in the two most important areas of any real estate business is lead generation and lead conversion, period. Nothing else is important as those two things. You've got to be generating leads consistently, and you have to be converting those prospects, both buyers and sellers. And it's not – in most agents' businesses, Toby, it's not – the need to generate more leads. They may think that they need to generate more leads. The reality is they don't need more leads. They need more conversion. You know, they need to put tangible programs and systems in place that, you know, as, as simple as this. Is if I were to, and I ask this question in every event, I was just out in Las, in last week, I was in Vegas, I was in California, I was in Utah, did five events, wow. and I asked this question, at, at, at every event, right? And these are, you know, both top agents, new agents, people just getting in the business, people have been around forever. And I asked the question, why should your prospects use you over your competitor? Why should they? What is it that you do different than everyone else? And the amount of people that ans answer that question correctly is, is quite scary. Most people don't know. They think, well, they, they should hire me because I'm, I'm, I'm a hard worker, I'm the best. You know, I'm, I'm a GRA, GRI, my CRS, everything I touch turns to sold, right? They don't have things that, um, that the consumer wants, right? They want to know what's in it for me. And so a big part of what we do is we help give agents those tools, like, you know, like a performance guarantee, like a smart seller program, a certified pre-owned program. We make them published authors. We give them tools like digital video books and things like that that we can deploy that – clearly define what they do differently than everyone else. And I think that the biggest mistake that agents are making is they don't realize they're unemployed every 90 days. And right. it's, it's you're, every agent, you're unemployed every 90 days. You know, it, it's, it's not a, we don't, you don't have a salary. You're not out there, you know, you know, you're working off commission. It's a business. And so what are, what is it that you're doing every day to be focused on going after new business. And honestly, most agents don't make that near enough of a high priority. And that's why we see a lot of agents get in the business and out of the business and a lot of agents that are extremely successful and agents that aren't. I'll tell you, you know, we recently interviewed a guy named Tim Heil. Um, he's actually in my mastermind. He's one of my good friends down in Austin, Texas. He's, um, you know, in his mid-20s. And the guy tells, I don't know, I mean, he's one of the top agents in Keller Williams. And he literally has, you know, I mean, last time I checked, it was like five people on the phone all day, every day, generating new business. And if you look at your most successful agents, that's, the most, the, that's their main focus is either having ISAs or if they're not on the phone, somebody else is or somebody, you know, somebody else is doing something consistently all day, every day to generate and convert new prospects. Um, and so to answer your question – um, the agents I talk to, you know, when they're struggling, um, they're not doing near enough of that. Right. So, uh, um, so it, it, earlier, right. In terms of what are you better at than anybody else? Why should people hire you're, you're saying everybody should have a unique selling proposition. I would agree with you, Absolutely. but, but at the end of the day, how unique can it really be? Right. I mean, so, I mean, maybe, maybe uh, uh, unpack that a bit, like, you know, what sort of unique selling propositions have you seen out there? Because I'm, I'm having a hard time well, wrapping my head around that. All right, so think about it like this, right? So you have two different markets. You have the met, 
your Met market, your Met database. These are the people that like you, love you, trust you. Your high eyes like to operate in that arena only, right? They like to play it safe and just deal with people that know them. And they have a big, uh, you know, a, a, a big network because they're that outgoing type personality. Then you also have the haven't met market. These are people that have no clue who you are. You know, these are your FISBOs and your expires, your short sales, your REO, your um, you know, your just sold, just listed markets, you know, these, your farm areas, people who don't have a clue who you are. So what we do is we help them identify why those the haven't met market should respond to their marketing. Why should they agree to meet with you? What is it you're going to do different than everybody else? And then you build that met database through aggressive marketing to people who don't know who you are. And then you have rock solid systems for maintaining that relationship after the transaction and in term growing that met database because I think that's going to be more and more important in the new era of real estate is having that sphere that um, sees you as the authority, as sees you as the expert. And so if you look at the habit met market, let's say if I'm an expired listing and, and, and I love expireds, I built my business going after expireds and you know, even FISBOs, any market like that. You know, I want to be able to go after them and have it clearly defined on why I am the best choice to choose to list the home than everybody else that's in, con in, in contact with them, right? So the messaging of how I position myself to that expired is important. It's very important because if I don't position myself the right way, I'm not going to get the listing, but – even if I get the listing, they're going to try to negotiate my commission and then all these other things that go along with it. And so think about this, Toby. If you're going after a habit net market, you're going after an expired, you know, and, you know let's say you send a postcard. That postcard's got to be you know, the main thing, right? When they see the postcards, I'm calling that guy. And so one of the best ways, like, you know, Monica Benavidez, for example, She's a client that's been in our coaching for four years. She's the number one listing agent in her market. She came to us, to me, I personally coached her, and she came to me when she was a school teacher, got out of teaching, and got into real estate. And I said, the first thing we're going to do is go after the haven't met market. People who don't know who you are, we're going to focus on listings. And the lowest hanging fruit are the expires. She goes, well, how do I go after the expires? I said, one of the best ways is to offer a guarantee of guaranteeing your services. She says, well, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. I said, guarantee that you'll sell their home or else, right? Like in my business, I use you know, a free guarantee. When I went, when I went after uh, both FISBOs and expires, it was your home sold in 27 days guaranteed or you can fire me. And by putting that on a postcard, it dramatically increased the amount of calls I was generating as opposed to not having any message at all. Right. And so and even in her business, and we did this, and, I mean, she, I mean she's the number one listing agent in her market by far. She, she, she kills it, um, and she does an amazing job at it. But if you look at any of those top agents in, those, you know, in, in most any market, I've been in over 45 states. You know, I've been there. And I see top agents, and a lot of these folks are in our masterminds and our networks. I mean, most all those top agents have some sort of guarantee they offer mm -hmm. people who don't know who they are to make it risk free to use them. Sure. I mean, there's the. I mean, there's. Uh, you know, I mean, there's a guaranteed sale, right? Guaranteed sale in 90 days or I buy it. Guaranteed sale in 90 days or I'll make your mortgage payment. Guaranteed sale or I'll sell it for free. You know, your, your guarantee, right? So your unique was um, I'll sell it in 27 days or you can fire me. Now, he, here's the deal. Um, and I, and I want to know more. I want, I want to unpack it a little bit more. Like, you know, what other unique, you know, selling propositions have you seen out there? But, you know, um, as a, as a, as a, as a I'm going to sell my house, right? I'm, I'm, I have a house. I'm on the listing side of it. All I care about is I want to, I want you to sell it for the highest price in the quickest amount of time. That's it. That's all I care about. You know. Uh, so yep. what? What other? You know, I mentioned a few different. You know, some unique things that people can can say. Not everybody is comfortable with saying I'm going to buy it if I <laughs> if I don't sell it. Not everybody's comfortable saying, Hey, I'll make your mortgage payment. Uh, but I'm sure people could would be comfortable like I will sell your house in nine days or or I'll sell it for free. What What other things have you have you seen? And you know, for the people in my audience, you know, what can they walk away with going, Hey, yeah, man, I can I can implement that that in my business today. All right, perfect. Here's another example. By the way, to add to what you said, Monica drug her feet a long time on implementing a guarantee, and she still laughs about it because she's kicking herself for not doing it sooner. And I was the same in my business as well. You know, I mean, we all are just, you know, we all have fears. So some people manage their fear better than others, right? Don't let that fear lead to inaction. 
because the reality is is having a unique selling proposition is is, is absolutely crucial, especially you know in today's competitive market. But it doesn't have to just be a guarantee. It can be you know something as simple as marketing. You talked about it, Toby. You said. You know, it, you know, what is it that you're going to do to sell my home, and how are you going to get me the most amount of money? That's what people care about. So if I were to ask that same question to a handful of agents, and I just say, what is it you do different to market my home than every other real estate agent? It's a great question, and it's a great question for every, every listener to ask themselves that. What is it you do? And if you go down the list, it's wrong, meaning if, oh, I do an open house, and I do, and I put it in the MLS, and we have virtual tours, and we do all this. That's the same stuff everybody does. Yeah. There's no value in that, yep. right? Yep. And so positioning is in branding as well, right? Branding that marketing plan. And so a better answer would be, well, you know, we have an 89-point marketing plan that's designed to get properties sold in Glen Hollow subdivision that other agents have failed to sell sell them for the fastest amount of time and for the least amount of money. And we also have a certified pre-owned program that allows us to position your property differently than every other listing out there. And doing so, we're able to get four, generate 4.65% more money. And a home that is certified sells 28 days faster than the MLS average. Mr. Seller, do you see value in, in making this home a certified pre-owned home? Yeah. Yes, of course. Right. You see how I'm doing, but – I'm not. I'm. I'm selling programs. I'm selling mm -hmm. systems. Yeah. Right. And it, it positions me differently. It's not about me. It's about what I offer. I use the example of uh, Herman Cain. Do you remember the guy back in sure. um, the yeah. presidential election? That uh, I think he is the CEO of Godfathers. And yep. And he, at the time, the U.S. Uh, you know, market was horrible. Everybody wanted to know who has a plan to be able to bring this country back on track. And Herman Cain came out with his 999 plan, right? Mm -hmm. You remember the 999 plan, I Toby? Do, I do, yep. And he came in, right? And he, and he, and he, I mean, he was, I, mean, I think he was at the bottom of the polls. I don't know where he was. But when he came out with his 999 plan, he, like, surged. And he was number one, and everybody wanted him to be the president, right? He's yep. got a plan. Because he has a plan. And even, I don't even know if he knew what was in that plan, but to the country, you know, we looked at it as a 999 plan. It sounds like a plan. It's no different um, in our real estate business. You want to brand everything. So, you know, simple as marketing, you know, brand your marketing, call it something. The ultimate home selling marketing system, 89 points that will, that will sell your property the fastest and most amount of money. Um, and that's what we help our clients do is we help we help help them build that, right? We help reposition them. Um, we help them reposition themselves because it really, when you, when you have those things, you're able to use them over the phone in your communication, right? You're, you know, it'll allow you to get in more doors. And then when you're face to face, it'll allow you to close more of those appointments. Right. No, I agree. And, and I think in a lot of ways, people can just look at they can look at other industries. So a lot of what you're talking about is uh, – is, I mean I can look at the car industry, right? Um, so you, know, you go and buy a Mercedes-Benz. Hey, this is a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, and, and, and you can feel super comfortable with it because we put it through a 200-point inspection. So I mean you can look I – mean, you know, people out there can look at other industries. What, you know, what are they doing to, to, uh, to brand themselves as unique and, then, and just copy that into their uh, real estate business? Now, for you, right, so you uh, – and I bring up certified pre-owned because this is something that that I talk about every now and again and people people don't get it explain it for every what this certified it, it, for you certified pre whatever certified home what does that look like well first off you you caught it right you the first thing you thought of was Mercedes-Benz and, and that you know that's what most people think of when you right. say certified pre-owned it's Mercedes-Benz and BMW um, and that's where I, you know, and I'm sure the, 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 the you know, the, the program was, you know, I mean, some sort of variation has been around. Um, but you know, I never used it until I, I, I came up with it when I was driving and I saw a Mercedes Benz dealership by my house and it said certified pre-owned cars and it hit me like a ton of bricks. And I was like, the light bulbs went off. I was like, that would work amazing in real estate because we could position our listings differently. We could and when we're on the appointment, we could offer this type of program that would separate us from everybody else because we offer it. But 
the, even bigger than that is is we're able to piggyback off of uh, the giants of BMW and, and Mercedes because they do such a fine job of branding the certified pre-owned in the, in the mind of the consumer. And so as soon as we say certified pre-owned, they already know what it is, right? right? Um, which is it's called mind share, right? The mind share has already been won, and then they already get the concept. So a concept, you know, how it would work is similar to this. Um, is let's say you have a, a you know a uh, a listing, and this listing you know you want to you want to you, you're the listing agent and you want to um, you know do the certified make it a certified pre-owned home. Well, you'd make it. It's your program, but you know what you would do is you would have number one they buy the home warranty. In most cases, the seller buys the home warranty anyway, right? <laughs> they you know they I mean ninety over ninety percent of the time ninety five percent of the time the seller pays for the home warranty in most states right and so why not go ahead and have the seller pay for that up front and be able to use that in our marketing right be able to use that in our in their, our descriptions and all those things and then two have the home inspected up front and have the inspector come out inspect the property you know fix everything on the inspection report that needs to be fixed um, and be able to take those two things and, and be able to say that this is a certified pre-owned home. When they go through that process and they get those things done, we're now able to market it as a certified pre-owned home. And think about it. The reason it works so well is because it adds certainty to the transaction. I mean, most agents listening would agree if you're going on a listing that already has the home warranty, the inspection's already been done and everything has been fixed on the inspection report, it adds a lot of certainty to the transaction. Otherwise, you know, the, the second round of negotiations always start you know, after the, the inspection, right? Yep. And so we're able to kind of, um, you know, make that easier for everyone involved um, through the certified pre-owned program. And, you know, we have clients all over the country that use it through our coaching. And, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, it's a huge listing tool. Um, but it's, it, it generates a slew of buyer leads as well because you're able to market it as a certified pre-owned. And when you do that, buyers know, you know, they know what that means and they want to know more information on it. Yeah. And, and look, you know, in terms of selling it quickest for the most amount of money, if, if, if you, there, I think there's a couple things here. One, you know, when, if you as a listing agent go and you talk about certified pre-owned, you, you are saying, you, you know, you automatically sort of are different and, and more, there's something more. Uh, you know, Mercedes is luxury. So when you say, hey, we're going to pre-certify your home, all of a sudden you're sort of elevating the game. <clears throat> and, and two, right. when you ask them to, uh, when you ask them to, hey, listen, you're going to go pay, pay for an inspection and you're going to go, you know, I require you, if I'm going to list your house, I require you to pay for the inspection and fix all that stuff. Um, you know, you're, you're coming off as like not easy. Where everybody else is walking through the door, pretty much, you know, there's desperation, like, wafting off of their, their body, saying, please, like, give me the listing. Um, I, I, I mean, Commission I'm, breath is what we call that. <laughs> right. Totally. <laughs> so, um, yeah, look, I love that. And, and as, you know, as a, as a buyer, if, if I walk through the house and uh, I got a package with, uh, you know, imagine they paid for an appraisal. I got a package. Boom. I see the appraisal. Boom. I, I see the inspection. And you give me a bunch of invoices from the contractor that says, hey, this is where they fix it. And this is how much I just spent to fix, give you a crispy, tidy, brand new house. I would love that. Um <clears throat> Let me switch gears a little bit. So earlier you were talking about two groups, the, the met, right? I've met you and then the haven't met yet. Now, when you started that, you said, hey, the high eyes, right? And, and for everybody, if you, if you don't know where you're at, this is the disc profile. Send me an email. I'll, I'll give you the link and you can take, take the test. Not everybody out there, Haas, is a high eye. Right. For those people sure. who want to sell real estate and maybe they score low on the I and, and by the, the I for everybody out there, if you don't know what that is, that's the, the, the you know, very outgoing, very gregarious type of personality. How can you can you you know, for people who are, you know, again, low on the on the I and low on the D for dominance, you know, how can they go out and be successful in real estate? Systems. Right. So it's got to be systems. You know, you got to have every. Every agent, regardless of your personality, they have, you have to have a system you depend on, right? You have to have something that generates the majority of your con prospect, the majority of the leads. It's the most consistent. And then, you know, that's a rock solid system. And then once that thing's rolling and then you're, ba and you're making money and you're able to go invest in other systems, but 
look at you know that one system. You don't need to be the jack of all trades and master of none. You tr- you know that's the that's what most agents do. They throw spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks. And it doesn't matter what your personality is. I know people who have no personality at all that sell more homes than you know almost any other agent. You know they because they've they've aligned themselves with the right people, but they have that that one niche or that one target market that they own, right? For me, it was um, I, I built my business going after sellers, specifically FISBOs. I started going after FISBOs my first six months. I, I listed 30 FISBOs my first month going after them. It was my, it's my bread and butter. If you ask anybody in my market at that time, you know, Hoss, he's, yeah, he's a FISBO guy, right? They knew that. And so that one thing is you, you want to identify what that is. And it doesn't have to be, you know, just, you know, something that, uh, um, you know, I mean, you want to enjoy doing it, but at the same time, understand that it's an evolution. Even if you don't enjoy it now, you develop those skills, you hone those skills, you get better at it, and then you're able to possess that type of skill that you can pick up a phone and close anybody or convert any prospect. And I think that, you know, every agent, regardless of their personality, needs to do more at the conversion. Um, and, you know, but pick a niche that you can go after that you can focus on and you never give up and you never stop because through that you'll grow into that niche and you'll, and you'll start to become that authority when you do the right things when you approach the niche. And so, you know, to answer your question, what should they do, um, understand that, you know, it, it, it's, you know, you, you, it, it, you know, it is an evolution, right? So even if you're not good at it at, at, at the beginning, you become good at it. You know, Jim Rohn always said, you make up in numbers what you lack in skill. You know, when we first tell people to call FISBOs, and they're like, man, this is so uncomfortable. I hate doing it. I don't want to do this. Great. I want you to spend six hours tomorrow calling FISBOs. And the next hour, next day, I want you to spend another six. And we have them just in it, right? Because through that, they realize it's not so bad. Um, and I think that, you know, I think everybody can do more of that. Be more focused on one niche and stop trying to do, be the jack of all trades, the master of none. Yeah, I I totally agree with that. And look, I love Haas that you said, you know, you know, you know, these things are skills. They're, you know, it's it's like lifting weights or making decisions, right? Like uh, for people, some people, many people, it's uncomfortable to do, but the more you do it, the 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 more you get used to it, the better you get at it. Um <clears throat> So in terms of systems, right, for that low I person, I mean, w- w- what does that look like? I mean, certainly you can say – and I I use channels. I say channels, and maybe you're swapping channels for systems. But, you know, w- w- what is that? I mean, tell me what those systems for you look like. All right, so channels, right, would be um, target markets to me, right, or niches, okay. right? Okay. So same thing, right? You're, you're identifying a target market. So think about a system, right? So a system um, is everything to where, you know, let, let, and let's just, you know, anything, even your sphere of influence. But let's say if I let's take the same FISBO. If I have a FISBO come on the market and I get, you know, let's say I get notified from the Red X and the Red X says, hey, there's this FISBO that just came on the market. And I, and I, and I reach out to that FISBO. What's the process that you're going to market to that FISBO? Mm-hmm. Meaning, you know, it's gonna, it's not gonna take, it's gonna take more than one contact, and it's, and you gotta, and not every FISBO is gonna be worth your time and money to prospect. So think about beyond the initial call. Every channel, right, needs a, especially habit met. Sometimes this, you know, needs to be longer, but a minimum of 60 days of communication to where every week I'm gonna call them and I'm gonna mail them. I'm gonna call them, I'm gonna mail them. And I'm going to follow this system, and I'm going to ask that prospect a lot of questions to find out who's worth my time and money to prospect and who's not, because the majority of them are a waste of your time. But you want to know how to ask the right questions to where then they go into your system. Um, And I'll tell you why this is so important, because 80% of sales happen on the 5th to 12th contact, Mm -hmm. but only less than 10% of agents make more than three contacts. Right? So – People don't make enough contacts. They don't have that. Um, they don't have the follow up. They don't have the system. They're too focused on the outcome and less focused on the action. If you focus on the action, the outcome will happen because you just start playing the numbers game. I mean, if you're adding yeah. all these prospects and you're, you know, you're doing your thing and you don't, you know, and you're consistent, um, you're going to get results. Um, and that's what we help people do: is help them put that system in place um, and help them, you know. 
but depend on it and follow it because there's riches in your pipeline. Yeah. And if you look at your business, how fat and juicy is that pipeline? Like, do you have people you've been in contact with for 60 days that are close to listing? Um, and, you know, that needs to be more of a focus for any agent, even top agents. I know a lot of top agents that don't do, you know, they don't do near what they could if they had that type of, you know, automatic follow-up and system in place. Yeah. No, I, okay. So I understand now what you mean by system. So. You know why? I mean, I, here's what I think. Uh, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, maybe somebody will uh, – let me, let me back up for a second. I also say, you know, the fortune is in the follow-up. So you have to follow up. The, the reason why people don't follow up more than three times, even though they may intellectually know that the sale happens, be, you know, on uh, the 8th to 12th point of contact is they don't know what to say. You know, w- you know why they don't know what to say? Because they don't know what they do different than everybody else. Got it. Yeah. That's why. If you, if you don't have, and I call it a marketing arsenal, if you don't have a marketing arsenal like a performance guarantee, a smart seller program, an easy exit listing, a communication guarantee, an 89-point uh, marketing plan, a certified pre-owned program, and you don't have these tools to be able to differentiate yourself, it makes conversion very uncomfortable and very difficult. It would for me. I don't know what I would say if you took away my marketing arsenal. I would have, like, no weapons. I'd have nothing, right? I would be like, I'd have to surrender. I don't know what i do different. Um, I would have to compete on what? Either skills or my expertise, things like, you know, that really people don't really care about. You know, they want to know what's in it for them. Yeah. And so when you don't have those things, it does make uh, – talking to people difficult it right. makes it challenging it's redundant you know they you're not saying anything new you're not identifying what that prospect's pain is um and you're not because you're not identifying what the pain is you're not also not able to solve their pain with a solution which is what those should be they're the solutions that will allow that prospect person to get the results they seek i agree and so my next question here i'm gonna i'm gonna tee you up Haas. here's the deal so you know, so let's say that you kind of you 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 have your unique selling proposition. You know what you're going to deliver when you know at what point in time. This is where a CRM becomes extremely valuable, right? If because I think in campaigns, right? So if I see a, a Fisbo expired or whatever, I you know the, certainly I should call them first. But I should start putting in the mail. I should mail them once a week, right? With a campaign, right? The first letter is why you know why if it's an expired, right? Why expired? You know expire right the second is why i'm so great right the third is wh- whatever so I, I i so i believe crms are very important so i'm teeing you up haas you have but you know why tell me this is what's great and this is why i created fuel lead system and fuel stands for uh follow up every lead right it's a uh, uh it's what it's all about it's it's automation and it's a uh it's it's a it's a crm that automates literally everything and it was created because of the need and getting people to actually do what they know they need to do. So we wanted to um, – our goal when building fuel was to do that, is to create a, a system that automates everything, that brings everything under one roof. And so, for example, you know, with fuel, um, a user that, it, it, that – let's say they, they go after you know, that market, Fizbo's. Well, we're, you know, we're integrated through API with uh, Vulcan 7, Land Voice, Zillow, um, Red X, um, whole information and lead heist, which gives us, you know, you know, ability to integrate with all these other sources. But, you know, it's a hub of operation. So we've built it to where now those prospects and those leads go into one system, which is fuel. And then fuel will mail all those postcards. It will send the mail. It will, um, it'll email them. We have automatic SMS texting because I believe SMS, um, is is crucial in an effective campaign, follow up campaign, because that's you know we all communicate in 140 characters or less, right? That the the texting is huge, and so with fuel we automate the whole process. Literally, um, the agent you know doesn't have to do, do anything other than make the phone calls um, and reach out to them. And I want to add one other thing to that: is the phone calls are where the conversion takes place. The the direct mail is there to make the phone calls easier, more mm-hmm. effective. You know, to think that you can just direct mail a target market um, and not follow up in any other form or fashion is really a farce. It's a, it's a bad idea. Um, you're not going to get the results you seek. It takes everything in today's market to be able to convert the maximum amount of prospects and increase your conversion, everything. You need to be on the phone. You need to email. You need to call. You need to text. You need to do it all. 
And all those things working together, communicating uh, a powerful message that positions you as the undisputed best choice, best expert, you know, this is the agent, is everything. And, and that's what we do with Fuel. It does it all. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a, an incredibly robust system, you know, for, you know, we have round robin leads and teams and literally when somebody calls a phone number, it whispers in your ear where the call came from. You know, if, if it's a, you know, if it's a, an expired, it'll whisper in your expired caller, you know, before the call connects. Um, hmm. the reason that's important, right, is again, positioning. When that person calls, I want to be able to cater that message to them immediately from the beginning where it's. Thanks for calling the Haas Pratt team where we sell homes. Other agents have failed to sell. How may I help you? Right? So that's important. And that's really what fuel is. It's for, those, it's for the agent that sees the definite need um, to evolve in their automation, evolve in their processes, and we brought it all together to help them. Uh, you know, to automate it for them once and for all. Got it. Yeah, no, look, I, I, I agree with you, right? You can't just uh, direct mail, right? So you're saying, you know, you have to, to direct mail them. You have to email them. You have to text them. I, I, I agree with that. I would love to see somebody take a really, really super holistic approach, right? And, and it's this. It's, okay, I found, I found Haas Pratt. He's this expired guy. He's this physical guy, whatever. Dude, I should try to friend you on Facebook. I should follow you on Twitter and start and start really surrapping my brand and my unique selling pro- proposition around you. And if I could, and if I, you know, even maybe pin, take a picture of your house, get a pic, you know, find a picture, whatever, uh, and and then pin it on pin it on my Pinterest board, right? Or or pin it on Instagram. There's so yeah. many things you could do where I, where if I see it as a seller, I'm like, you know, I would I would be all over that. I'm like, oh man, this guy is everywhere doing everything i have to have him sell my house and that even gets into facebook retargeting and uploading your right to facebook and yeah i mean like i we teach a lot of that too like you know facebook marketing um you know we look at this though toby like i said real estate's changing and, and you know you do have to hit them from all angles but you know this is a big thing that we've looked at we talked about like even today like you know the programs and systems that will help differentiate the agent but you also um need um powerful tools that are just like, you know, when somebody sees this tool, it's a no brainer. And like, for example, what would that be? What could we wrap all these things around in, in a meet, in some sort of media communication that would be like the slam dunk grand slam, this, you know, your game over, you're in. Um, and so we've been working all year on a project that would help people do that. That if, if you could go on a listing appointment and you could, you know, you could give them this one thing, what would it be? And it is to make, make, to make those agents a published author. I thought, well, what if you could make, you know, an agent a published author of a book that, you know, teaches people how to buy and sell real estate without going crazy? And, it, you know, and what, what would happen to their authority when they went on an appointment? Right. And so for the last year, we've been working on this project, and we're actually um, – we're soon to be launching it where we're going to you – know, we've wrote a book – and we're going to take our, you know, our, our, our clients and we're going to make them published authors to where now when they go on a listing appointment, they take that book as a, right, as a gift. They give it to them and say, you know, I wrote the book on selling real estate. What happens when you leave that book? Or what happens – you probably won't have to leave it because you're going to get the listing. But what happens if you mail that book to your entire sphere of influence? It's called instant credibility, instant authority. Um, and in today's new era, you've – to separate yourself, not only do you have to have those types of unique selling propositions, but you also have to have the media packages to back it all up. Yeah. You know, we launched uh, last year. We launched a video book, for example. It's a pre. You know, a lot of people send pre-listing books. Um, it's a seven-inch. It's a book. I wish you could see it, but it's a it's a book that has a seven-inch high-def TV in it, and it has five videos that go through and explain the different programs and systems that this agent offers. And so, when that they take a listing, they mail the digital pre-listing book or drop it off to the prospect. And literally, Toby, when you open this thing and that 7-inch high-def TV plays this incredible video, it's like it blows people's minds. And they can't believe what they're seeing. And then when they get over that, they can't believe what they're hearing in the, in the videos because it's, it's such effective marketing. And that right there, the, even those two things, right, the video books and becoming an author and having all these other things um, is my passion. That's what we do is we want to, you know, to help equip agents out there with those tools 
that will forever impact their business and uh, you know their life for that matter. Yeah, for sure. No, I love the idea of of, of being a publisher. And if, if people want to be a publisher, it's not that hard. You know, I wrote a, a thirty two page ebook. You should. I would. Lo- I would love for you to download it. It's free on my site, superagentslive.com. If anybody in the audience hasn't gotten that, go get it. It's great. Um, and and um. Uh, and now I just give it away for free. Now I could go to Fiverr, pay five bucks, get a book cover, boom, pop that on Amazon, and I'll and and, and I'm an instant author. And then and then have yeah. my friends, you know, go buy a copy. I you know I refund them, but the, but get reviews. Now that's the thing, right? Yeah. So you have to you can't just give me a book cost and me go, oh yeah, that's great. Um, I want to I want to confirm it, right? I need to see social proof. I need to see. 50 to 100 five star reviews on Amazon. If I, and if you could do that, if you could figure out a platform to do that, then you're then you're golden. Um, do, um, did you want to say something before I move on? No, and you're right. I mean, reviews are uh, you know, I mean, in case you can't tell, are becoming more and more and more important, um, and quite quickly. And, oh yeah. Uh, you know, all the way from Zillow to Yelp to Amazon. I mean, you know, I bought a book. You know, last night, you know, it was 11 o'clock. I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm a parent. I have a two-year-old and a one-year-old. And there's this book that, um, you know, somebody mentioned. And I was, you know, writing a book because I'm trying to learn how to keep my daughter, who's two years old, from getting out of her bed at night, right? <laughs> I don't know how to keep a two-year-old from getting out of bed at night. So I have to go seek and learn from people to do it the right way. And, you know, that's even in parenting and business. We should always be seeking those uh, tools and those mentors and that help from people that can make our lives much easier. Yeah, right. So, yeah, and in terms of reviews and the social proof, I mean, it's it's uh, NAR just came out with a, a stat that that uh, in terms of like people think millennials are all living in their parents' basements, but but uh, millennials accounted for the biggest chunk of new buyers for homes. Now, it was not very; it was thirty one percent millennials, thirty percent Gen X, and thirty percent boomers. But again, the, the millennials edged them out, everybody else out. Now, those are the people who truly, truly rely on social proof. <clears throat> Um, and that's one of the reasons. One of the other things that that I recommend people do, and, I'm, and I would love to get your take on this, is if you come to me and say, "Hey, I want to list your house," and and you're going to say, "Listen, I have this network of buyers and sellers, and you know, uh, and I can really uh, get your house in front of a bunch of people," I'm going to check you out on LinkedIn. So you better have 500 plus contacts uh, under your name. So. Um, really quickly, earlier you mentioned retargeting on Facebook. I, I, I 100% agree with that. Um, one of the things, I'm sure you're familiar with SmartZip, and that's, that's one of the magic things that SmartZip does is they will they can see, you know, t- I don't know how they do it, but they can take an address, a physical address, find the, uh, the IP address, um, and, then, uh, and, get, and then get the cookies for that, for that household and then go buy ads and retarget that individual with your ads as an agent. Uh, do you, uh, are you familiar with this? Do you know how to do it? Uh, have you seen anybody do it other than SmartZip? Yeah, SmartZip is actually um, a sponsor of Recharge, our live event that is uh, October 22nd through the 24th. Hmm. And they were a sponsor last year, and you know a lot of our clients use SmartZip. Um, you know, and, and a part of what they do is retargeting. I don't think it's the biggest part that they do. I think the biggest part is the data, right, providing the data of the top 20% yeah. of people that are most likely going to be making a move. But uh, on the retargeting, you know, Facebook's made it real easy um, to do this. And, you know, it's uh, – you can literally um, – in, in, in Facebook, you can – two things, you know, and I would do this. I have all, we have all of our clients doing this. Like this is a, this is crucial that we you upload your, your your database, your sphere, into Facebook, right? Because you can do that. You upload it in a CSV, and you can create a custom audience. And that custom audience can you know you can create an ad um, that only that custom audience sees. And because you only pay for when the ad is clicked, it makes it really cheap to just be in front of your your sphere all the time. Um, and I think that you know. More and more people see that as a, it's, it's a necessity to be doing more Facebook marketing um, because that's where every number one everybody's on Facebook. I mean, my grandma is on Facebook. She's an 80 year old that lives in the middle of nowhere in Iowa on a farm, you know, and she has Facebook. Um, you know, so since everybody's on there, you, you now have that audience. But in Facebook, you also have a way, and there's a um, you can you can create a custom audience, and then you click for, on website. And then get pixel for retargeting, and you can take that pic- that pixel, 
and you can put it on your website, right, or landing page, or what, where, you know, wherever it is, to where when they go visit your website, they now see an ad. It follows them on Facebook, and they always see that ad because they visited your website. That's why when you see a lot of like you'll be, you know, the other day I was shopping for shoes, right? I wanted some driver loafers, and I was, you know, look, I I went to I pulled up Steve Madden shoes, um, and I went to the site, and then. When I went to Facebook, the first thing I saw on my right-hand side was a Facebook uh, ad for Steve Madden shoes. Yeah. Well, they use retargeting, right? Yep. Um, and you, you, that's what that is. It's, it's just a pixel that's on that site that will follow you wherever you go. And, again, it's not the magic cure-all, end-all, but it definitely adds to the phone calls, the emails, the mailers, you know, everything else. I mean, it takes – it literally takes almost all that stuff, to, you know, to get the you know to to get to where your you know maximum uh, lead gen and max lead uh, conversion it takes it all yeah I love it I love it. and by the way you know it's funny as I've been I, I think a lot of and we're gonna start wrapping up here Haas but I think a lot of agents don't know number one even how to use Facebook appropriately as a marketer and when you get into you know doing ads and 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 custom audiences people are just lost with that so I'm I'm, uh, I'm thinking about creating a product uh, around this. Um, just and that would be my answer is like, where do you go get information? Well, you seek it, right? I yeah. mean, you know, I mean, I didn't know it at the beginning. I had to go learn from other people and, you know, you know, and, and there we teach our people, you know, it, it's, you know, it's not an excuse not to know, right? It, but you know, it's what you do. That's why you got to go seek it. Yep. And once you learn it, you know, then it, you know, I, I believe this, Toby, everybody's one piece of information away from achieving any level of success they want to achieve. Mm. You're one idea away, one coach away, one mentor away. You're one thing away. And so the most successful people are the biggest students. You know, they're, you know, for me, I go to conferences. Those are where all my best friends are. You know, all my best friends live, you know, somewhere else. And we only see each other a handful of times a year at a conference, you yeah. know, because those are the most successful people. And those are the people that I like to be around. And, uh, those types of people can be found at those types of conferences. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, uh, I, I certainly have found is the more successful you get, the more you have to travel to, to find people of similar status or, or, or background Absolutely. or whatever. Um, so, look, and this is for my audience. If you guys want me to create that Facebook um, uh, product, send me an email. Let me know. Um, here's, here's I'm going to ask you two last questions. I ask everybody, and here's the first one. And I mean, it's this. I'm an aspiring agent. I have 25 bucks. What book should I go buy today? Wow. Uh, besides the obvious, thinking you're a rich, right, yeah, right. would be the obvious. And, I, and, I, and I, I'm going to give you another one because I think that's, you know, everybody's number one. Um, you there's, know, but there's two number the, one answers. There's two number one answers, and I and I and I well, here. So, uh, Think and Grow Rich should be in everybody's bookcase. And then, uh, and then the second one that, that I just get over and over again, and I disallowed is the Millionaire Real Estate Agent by uh, Gary Keller. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, um, and, and you know, besides going through everything Jim Rohn has ever spoken, and uh, going through Anthony Robbins, uh, you know, the uh, Personal Power: Thirty Days to Life Transformation. Um, you know, there's, uh, those are two big things, but, um, the one thing that I would read, um, is, um, and I'm sitting here trying to look for it, um, on my bookshelf because I do have a lot of them, but it's a, uh, it's a book. And by the way, um, the, uh, um, the miracle morning by Hal Elrod for anyone who's wanting to grow their business is something that is, is huge too. Um, you know, the Miracle Morning. You guys talk about. You know, you interviewed Hal. Oh yeah, I have, I have two. Um, I have two of those sitting on my right behind me, and I have one. One. You know, Hal sent it to me, and they're autographed and all that. But yeah, that's a good book. I'm, I to be totally honest with you, I love his message. I haven't read the book. Just, they've just been sitting there collecting dust. And the book is Black Belt of the Mind. Whoa! The book that I would. You know that book? I don't. I love when I get new ones. Oh yeah, this is a good, this is this is really good, and it's actually uh, written by a gentleman by the name of Dr. Fred Gross. Oh yeah, and the book is a, a conscious approach a, approach to wealth. Um, it's an easy read, you know. It's uh, it's not it's not a hard read at all, but it, it is uh, one of the most outside the box, um, you know, mind transforming methods and principles that I've ever read to apply to real estate, and so. You know, this book was uh, given to me by uh, you know, several of my mentors that, that dedicated their success to the, print, the principles that he teaches in it. 
Um, but that would be my uh, my Got obvious it. choice would be Black Belt of the Mind, Dr. I, Fred Gross. I love it. And look, if anybody wants to read that book, you can get a free copy using our link, audibletrial.com slash superagentslive. All right. Hey, so uh, this is my last question. I'm very interested in your answer because you did grow up on a dairy farm. Do you have any personal habits, Haas, that you believe have contributed to your success? Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> besides my work ethic, you know, yeah. um, the, you know, the question that um, was asked from Barbara Corcoran, you know, if you know Barbara, she's one, the one on sure. the, the gallon Shark Tank. And she said that she goes, what's the number one trait that you see in the most successful people? And her answer was, to me, was just spoke right to me. And her answer was, she said, the most successful people I know all have something to prove. Yeah. And I thought, wow. That, that, you know, and it's true. Like, why do you have the drive? Why do you have the desire? You know, what is it that makes you do those things like, you know, that nobody else is willing to do and have that crazy work ethic? And it's honestly, there, you know, is that. It's that internal drive comes from, I guess I have something to prove. And, uh, you know, I grew up with no college and, you know, barely made it through high school. So I guess there'd be a lot to prove there. Um, you know, and I turned, I seem to turn it into a strength to motivate me to do the things that I needed to do to become the person that I needed to become in order to achieve what I sought to achieve. So I, you know, that would be the main thing for me if, you know, is that, and if you don't have that reach deep within and find that because uh, that right there is the one trait that I see in the most successful people as well. I love it, man. And, you know, I'll tell you something. So, I mean, in my, my background, I've raised venture capital. I've done all sorts of different things. But if you ask any venture capitalist what they see, want to see in their founders before they, you know, drop $5 million into a company, it's just that. They want to see somebody with a chip on their shoulder, somebody that, that needs right. to prove something. So I would, I would agree with that. Haas, hey man, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, I have a very, very big uh, Twitter tribe um, and a very engaged audience. So let everybody know where they can find you and where they can reach out and say thank you for spending an hour of your valuable time sharing with my audience. Absolutely, a couple things. Um, you know, feel free to reach out to us. My, uh, I'll give you my direct number and my email, and I'll give you um, some more information how to reach out to us. But the phone number is two one four. 919 5321 214 5321 The email is haas at haasprat.com. That's H O S S at H O S S P R A T T.com. If you want more information on training systems, coaching, um, haasprat.com is a great place to start. And Toby, as well, I'd like to let everybody know that we have our live conference, uh, Recharge Live, coming uh, to Dallas October. 22nd to the 24th, we'll have 250 agents from all over the country that will be there for three days to learn principles and systems that will dramatically separate them from everybody else. And we give them the blueprint that to show them how to double their business in 12 months or less. Um, I would encourage everybody that's wanting to get to the next level, that's you know currently seeking new strategies and ways to differentiate yourself. Um, what comes out of that conference, you know, is nothing but incredible uh, techniques and you know, tools that will be able to you'll be able to deploy immediately. So I would encourage anyone, um, you know, who wants to be more information on becoming a published author, you want these tools to be at Recharge, and that uh, website is rechargelive2014.com. Uh, R e c h a r g e l i v e two zero one four dot com. Recharge live twenty fourteen dot com, and we'd love to have you. Awesome, man. Well, hey, listen, I will make sure. If, if, if I know a lot of people are out there, they're driving, they're walking their dog, mowing their lawn, listening to this. Um, I'll just go to the website if you need any. I'll have all those links. I'll have all those numbers down. Just superagentslive dot com. And, uh, and look for Haas Pratt. And Haas, I'll make sure that I air this prior to that. So, hey, man, I, thanks a lot. I appreciate you coming on the show, and let's, let's stay in touch. Wonderful. Thanks, Toby, for having me. Take care. See you, bud. Let's go.